I'm going to be showing you how to create your graphic organizer for the elements of design. When you finish it look should end up looking something similar to this with your title at the top in a larger section and then your seven elements below in smaller sections. When you open up each element you should have a definition and a visual example like so. The placement of these is totally up to you as long as they're on there. The larger section will have your name and hour. For this project you will need one sheet of copier paper, a ruler, a pencil, colored pencils, and scissors. Right now we're going to be starting with just the paper. You will be folding this hot dog style so long ways so you end up with a long skinny rectangle. Make sure you're folding on the table that way you end up with corners really matching up and you won't get a really crooked crease. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to measure out your individual sections. So you need a ruler and make sure you're using a pencil so you can erase. Your graphic organizer will want to open like a book, so make sure you have it facing the correct way on your table. I'm going to be measuring length all the way across the long side. So I have the folded edge towards me and that's how I am measuring. We are looking at the inches side on the ruler and we are measuring two, one and a quarter inch. That's the first long line after the one. Pay attention to your ruler. Some of them start measurements right on the edge. Others, like this one, start in a bit, so you really need to pay attention to how your ruler is set up. That way your graphic organizer is done correctly. So I am lining up one and a quarter with the edge of my paper. I'm going to scoop my ruler. You can do it that way or you can lay it out and just make sure you're going every one and a quarter inch for your mark. So you're going to make seven marks one and a quarter inch apart. The seven is for our seven elements and that will leave you a larger chunk at the top for your title. Make sure you're measuring from the bottom edge when you open it like a book. Okay, I have seven. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're repeating this process on the top long side. Don't flip your paper. When you have those notches done, you are going to connect them with a straight line. The reason we measure both edges is so that you have a straight or a straighter line. The next step is taking your scissors and carefully cutting along your pencil lines and once you're done with that for all of them you can go back and erase any pencil lines you may not want so your top section has to be your title the title is elements of design you can choose how you want to do that you can use colored pencil and pencil to d design the entire project you can also use magazine cutouts. The lower sections are totally up to you as far as order, but make sure you have one section for each of the seven elements. 